DFG Science TV, Duck Stop Bodensee, 260,000 water birds in search of food. Today, Anya is off to catch birds. She needs to collect feather and blood samples for her research. Thanks to a special permit, she, together with colleagues from the Max Planck Institute in Mergingen, will cruise along the reeds to try to catch Eurasian coots on their nests. She just might be successful in this endeavor. After all, the birds breed in quiet and don't necessarily think about fleeing. Or do they? We won't be catching the birds within the protected area. Rather, we are trying to find nests that lie outside of it so that we don't capture or disturb any other animals that are also breeding here, like the great crested grebe. The first goal is to traverse an arc towards the beach in Markelfingen. The first try. One nest has already been found. But the coots are hiding in the reeds. No chance. The idea for a solution. Martin, the camera operator, tries to drive the coot out of the reeds from shore. The plan to catch the black coots from their nests won't work in the reeds. They keep taking off on us. The second try they find another nest at the beach in Markelfingen. Here, coots have grown accustomed to swimming people and remain seated on their nests. They're in luck. Now the coot is fitted with a ring. In addition, Anya notes the time and location where the ring is attached. This will make it easier to correctly evaluate and assign the data later on. The PhD student cuts a few feathers from a wing for the isotope analysis. The sample contains a so-called isotopic signature, information about the choice of food over the past few months, which is important for Anya's research. Anya also draws a blood sample. This will enable her to determine the type of food consumed in the last few weeks. The coot recovered from the handling process without any problem and returned to its nest in just a few minutes. Now we have captured yet another black coot. Not bad. The method appears to work once in a while. The search continues. A new nest is found near the beach. Will they be successful here as well? That was it. No chance to catch this coot. Will these samples be enough? Because the birds can fly and thus can travel from place to place, it isn't easy to determine where they've eaten what. Biologist Anya obtains precise information by examining molting birds. Because they are renewing all of their feathers simultaneously, they can't fly away to distant feeding grounds during this period. Anya can catch molting birds best with a heart-shaped duck trap made of wire mesh. To succeed, you have to be good with your hands. Will Anya catch more birds with the trap? Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.